In the early hours of this morning, Group Armour crossed the Leg 9 finish line here in Galway to win the 2011-2012 edition of the Volvo Ocean Race. The French team needed a fourth place or better to earn enough points to put them out of reach of other challengers, even with an import race still to go, and they managed it admirably, finishing in second place. The Frank chemist Midas touch did not fail him as the French team sailed a fantastic leg, fighting running battles with Camper, Puma and Telefonica, who were all desperate to spoil the French party. Between them they produced one of the most exciting and fiercely fought finishes in the history of the race. Yeah, it's, uh, it's incredible for me. It was a dream uh, when I read my first book. It was uh, the, the first we read. And uh, it was already a dream to participate at this race. Winning this race, I, I didn't think about that never. So for sure it's an incredible day for me. And uh, I don't re realize now exactly <laughs> what is uh, this, uh, this victory, but uh, I, I just want to, uh, to do a big, uh, a big fiesta with my uh, crew and, uh, and I want to, be, to say thank, uh, thank to my crew. Incredibly, after 550 miles of sailing, just one mile separated the top four boats. And as they approached the finish, it was Camper who took line honours. The first leg win of the race for Chris Nicholson. 30 points also enough to secure overall second place for Camper. A fantastic result in front of a fantastic crowd. Puma, who had led as they rounded the fast net rock, were unable to resist the challenges of Camper and Group Palmer in the final stages of the leg. And were forced to settle for third in the leg and third overall in the race. Ahead of Telefonica in fourth. Both Sani and Abu Dhabi finished about an hour and a half later in 5th and 6th place respectively. But the night belonged to Group Harma and they were treated to a hero's welcome Galway style, a sight which neither they nor we will ever forget. <laughs>